Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, today, I thought I'd do something a little bit different from what I typically do on my other videos. And that's basically making a commentary video. Uh, commentary being, of course, that my voice is in it. So I hope this goes well. Pass your opinions in the comments, of course. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is uh, giving you a little bit of showcase on the software I'm developing. If you are familiar with my channel, you would have seen uh, some of my uploads about a software that I've been designing, which is Hexadecimal. And essentially, Hexadecimal is a program that's meant to run on top of Windows. And basically, it kind of, I don't know, makes your computer look pretty, I suppose. Um, and since this is a Windows-based computer, uh, the Microsoft Surface RT can actually run it as well as on a regular base computer like this one. Uh, so you can pretty much run my software on anything that runs Windows. Uh, so for anything from Windows XP, uh, Service Pack 1, all the way up to Windows 8. Uh, I haven't got a device here that's uh, working 8.1 to um, to test this on yet, but I, I'd like to think that it works. So without further ado, uh, let, me, let me run this. Okay, so what you're going to see in a minute, which is this, is my logon screen. So if you notice, um, Windows is still actually running in the background, but the fact that you have this overlay, it kind of runs on top of Windows. Uh, just to make things a little more exciting, I'm going to do the same here so you can actually see the difference. This is running the same software but on a PC, and this is on a Microsoft Surface RT. So you see, kind of look the same, of course, but with a bigger screen. This is a 1080. But yeah, um, to log in, you've got three options, sorry. You can either shut down, sleep, or restart the program. So to log in, you just tap on your avatar like that, and I'm gonna do the same here. Pretty awesome, isn't it? So uh, here you have the desktop, essentially, uh, which I'd like to call the workspace. It's the same here as well. Um, so basically, just to run down a, f a couple of things that I'd like to uh, show you guys. Uh, the first would be the application drawer, which is located down here, where basically all the installed programs are installed. So another cool thing. I uh, made it as touch friendly as possible when I was designing it. So you can actually scroll through the apps like that. Pretty neat, huh? So yeah, um, all the apps that are designed for hexadecimal working here. And I haven't done it yet, but I am planning on making a app store where you can download your apps. And um, this is all designed in a Visual Studio, by the way. So um, essentially, it will be easy for people to make software for this because they could just make, <coughs> excuse me, they could just make uh, Visual Studio apps and then integrate it. Um, I'm still figuring the kinks out, uh, but basically, yeah, that's what it's meant to do. So even uh, most of these Visual Basic operating systems do not have the feature to actually be productive. Whereas on this one, you can actually see that uh, there's a custom designed explorer with all things that you're used to. I can actually open the flash disk that's connected and actually view the files in here. See exe files, they load their icons. You can actually open text documents and actually see that. Actually scroll over, you can close that. You can actually explore um, folders, just like that. And um, another cool thing that I made, like you could actually open pictures. And as I said, since I was trying to make this as um, touch friendly as possible, you can actually scroll through images. I know it's a little bit jumpy, but um, I'm still working on it. And to dismiss an image, let's scroll it down like that. Um, what else can I show you guys? I'm also working on a music app. Of course, uh, I won't let the music play because of copyright claims and all that stuff. But um, basically, I could just run whatever MP3 I've got. And it'll take you to the custom-made music player, right? 
right? And um, essentially, this will uh, show the picture of the artist playing. You got the music information there. You got ratings. Um, you've got your controls. You've got that. You can actually use the quick play, and essentially, you could actually pick an artist, and it will stream from the internet. But as I said, I'm going to do that now because of, you know, copyright laws and stuff like that. But um, the more I develop, the more I'm going to show you guys what exactly it's all about. And um, what else? You've got the Internet Explorer. And it actually works, yes. It's not just for show. There it is. Um, I'm losing focus. There we go. And um, what the apps do I have? Um, most of them, I'm not going to show them because they're not really 100% completed. Um, so until I do that, I won't showcase, um, stuff that's not fixed yet. That's not working 100% properly. So yeah, this would be the configuration menu. Um, you've got all the information you need over there. And, um, I will also enable, um, cloud storage where if you actually click that, It'll ask you to log in though, but not yet. Um, I've got. I'm gonna use my Dropbox and stuff like that for people to get maybe a hundred megabytes or something. But I think it'd be actually pretty cool. And uh, you've got your clock app, which you can use as a screensaver. So essentially, it's it works exactly the same with the uh, regular desktop, of course, with a much larger screen. But it is essentially the same thing. So that concludes my uh, my tour of Hexadecimal. I will um, upload more videos as I go because I haven't done. Um, I'm not going to publish it yet until it's done. But uh, you get the general idea. Um, I hope you liked it. If you want to see more uh, or stay updated with. If you want to stay updated with um, where I am with development and all that stuff, feel free to subscribe. Um, you could like the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up to show that I'm actually interested in what I'm doing. Um, to some of you guys, this may not be essentially important. To some of you guys, this is probably fascinating, maybe. And uh, yeah, I would love all the support I can get. Um, so anyway, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And thanks for watching. Later.